So, EA just dropped the 87 plus base or FIFA World Cup hero player pick. Let's open up a bunch of these and hopefully get some good heroes. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out MMO EXP. There is a link down below and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. It's quite pricey coming in with an 87, uh, sorry, an 86 rated squad, an 85 rated squad, and an 84 rated squad with an inform. I think it's coming in around 250-ish K for the player pick. It's one of three this time though. Here we go. Let's see what we get. It's not bad. That's not bad at all, to be fair. That's actually all right. Uh, we've got Broly and Kewl or normal Abadi Pele. That's not bad. I don't, who's the most expensive one here? We've got Broly, who's costing, like, I want to say about the price of the pack. 250, 300k. 460! Oh, my word. I might have done way better than I thought. This actually might be a big W. I, d I didn't realize 270 for Harry Kewl and then Abadi Pele is, like, I want to say 200k, 300k. Yeah, 200k. I'm going to take Broline. That's a W, man. 460k for this card. Four-star skills. Really nice in-game stats. All right, I'm happy with that. That's class. That is really good. Let's go and open someone's share play and see what we get. All right, we've got Cridian's pick next. He's looking for World Cup hero, JJ Okocha. That's who we're looking for right here, EA. Can we get World Cup hero, JJ Okocha? Please. Uh, that's not bad, actually. Lucio's class, to be fair. It's one of those where if they obviously want one player, it is a bit disappointing when you don't get that single player. Lucio on the market is surely worth more than the pack, right? That's an incredible CB. Um, 574k! <laughs> Bro, I am so bad with prices, I can't lie. Oh my word. That is a massive W. Wow, GG. All right, Wales is blue, apparently. According to this person. Oh, oh my word. Oh, my word. What a player pick. Sydney Govu would have been good anyway. But Ginola as well. Wow, bro. David Ginola. What are we saying in terms of his price? Over a mil? Just under. He's 6k under a million right now. Wow, bro. That is incredible. All right, Harman Deep's player pick next. That is bad. Ricardo Cavallio, Papan, and Melito. That is our first, like, really bad one, unfortunately. Um, I don't think... I'm pretty sure all three of these are less than 100k. That is um, not ideal at all. All right. Next one, apparently Cavalio is like 200k, so I apologize for getting that one wrong. Um, here we go. The next player pick. Oh, Smolarek, Akotcha, and Cole. That's actually a really good player pick. Um, I don't know price-wise, so Smolarek is worth probably, what, 450? That's class. Akotcha, I don't think it's worth huge amounts because it's not the World Cup version. Uh, about 200k for Akotcha. And then Joe Cole is worth, what are we say for Joe Cole? About 300 nearly. Solid player pick. All right, next player pick. 1Z3 Bar Bost Lub MS 87 Plus. There you go. Exactly what we what we knew. Ooh, normal Vola. Nakata is an underrated uh, hero because he's not worth huge amounts, I don't think. He might be now. To be fair, I haven't looked at World Cup hero prices in a very long time, but Vola's class, man. Uh, Nakata is worth about 200k just under. What is normal Vola going for, though? Because this normal Vola card is actually really good. Normal Vola is worth ah, 170. Damn, if it was the World Cup version, it'd be way better. All right, we have our next one. What are we saying? Ah, Abdi Pele is all right. It's a small W. It's not super insane. And I think there's definitely cards better than him now. But, you know, he's not that bad. He's he's pretty decent. He's like he's like a small dub, in my opinion. Because he still does a job, to be fair. All right, we have Stevo's 87 plus next. Can we get ourselves a World Cup Yaya Torre or Marquisio today? Uh, our Marquisio base actually is really good. Um, that was actually a really good player pick for, like, base heroes. If they were all World Cup, that'd be nuts. But you take it. All right, we have our next base or World Cup hero. Come on, Yaya Torre. Uh, Harry Kewl is, like, okay. But, again, it's, like, meh. Again, a very meh. That is the last. That is genuinely the last one I would have taken there. The last one I would have taken. All right, next one. One of three normal slash World Cup Helte. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Oh, man. Give us World Cup Fallen and we are dancing around the room. Yeah, I mean, base Fallen is is very, very average. Very average. All right. Next one. Come on, EA. Show us the goods, please. Show us a Yaya Torre or a Marquisio. Come on. 
Uh, JJ Okoch is not bad. Brolin, unfortunately, is a dupe. JJ Okoch is pretty good, to be fair. He's actually a pretty decent one. Uh, Lundberg has got good stats, but pretty cheap, and there's a lot better cards. All right, Norway to glory. He wants World Cup Okocha. Come on, World Cup Okocha, please, EA. I mean, it's not Okocha, but Alawaren is fantastic. You absolutely take that. That is a class card. That's really good. Kill's all right. Nakat is pretty good, but Alawaren is absolutely fantastic to be fair that is a great card to get and i think still really expensive right um i don't remember like, last time it was like 600k 550 solid you take that all right we're on the second account now here we go we have got ourselves the 87 base or fifa world cup hero player pick on this account what we're we gonna get smaller egg very good i don't play on this account so it really doesn't matter i just do it for the content anyway but smaller is class i've had him on the main account for a very long time very, very good card. All right, next player pick. Come on here. We've not had a Yaya Torre yet. Even a base Yaya Torre would be very nice. We've had base Janola, which is very surprising. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Asking you shall receive. It's almost a shame, really. Because World Cup, Yaya, uh, World Cup Fallout is also fantastic. But there's the World Cup Yaya Torre. Finally, we get one. What is he worth? 1.7 million coins. Obviously, Dirt Cow is the one we've got to pick there, right? You've got to pick Dirt Cow. Wow. Torre's perfect for his team as well, apparently. That is insane. GG Robert. That is amazing. All right. One to three hero. Basico slash World Cup. I don't know what accent I'm trying to put on right now. I think this is Spanish. Here we go. Al Jaber. The GOAT. Um, yeah, terrible player pick, sadly. But Al Jaber, you know, rhymes with its Haber. You know, you love it. All right. The next one. We're on a bit of a roll at the moment, apart from the Al Jaber one. Like, welcome Yaya Torre. Welcome Smaller Egg. There's a few decent ones in there. Come on. Come on. Di Natale's class. Di Natale is very good. He didn't get a World Cup hero, did he? I don't know why I feel like Di Natale got another hero card this year. He didn't. Maybe maybe it's a shapeshifter I'm thinking of. That's class, though. That's really good. I forget what this pack is called. The 800 thief point pack, though. We're doing this right now. Let's see what we get. We got ourselves an inform. Casemiro. Hey, Erling Haaland. Let's go. We got ourselves Erling Haaland's inform. Absolutely class. Uh, what else is in there? Dangler? No Centurion, sadly. But Chesney, Alba. Sorry, Jordi Alba, even. Uh, Matip. For 800 thief points, it's not awful fodder. All right, here we go. Ah, at least it's three World Cup heroes. However, they are possibly three of the worst World Cup heroes, unfortunately. Very, very bad. All right, next one, Brexit FC. Come on. Ah, Cahill is okay. Not amazing. Like, I wish it was Lana Donovan or someone like that. If we could get, like, a meh one. Uh, again, apparently Carvalho is 200k. So, but kind of annoying, really. Not a great player pick. All right, here we go. Come on, EA. Sort us out. We've had a Yaya Torre. Let's get a, let's get a World Cup Marquisio now. Hey, another Alawaran. We'll take that. That is solid. Very, very good. Very, very good. Thank you very much, EA. We love that. All right, we have Abdo's player pick now. Come on, Abdo. Sort us out. Can you be the one that gets us a Marquisio? No, but don't count. It's really nice, actually. That's a set, That card is centre mid or cam. Very, very good. We like that card. That is a solid W. All right, we've got Pete's player pick. Come on, please, EA. Sort us out with a big dub for Pete. Marquisio, Yaya Torre. We've not had a uh, World Cup Fallout. Oh, no, we did get a World Cup Fallout. It was the same one as uh, Yaya Torre. Maybe another one, one we can actually take. Here we go. Come on. All right, here we go. Come on, EA. Sort us out. Big dub, please. Hey, I'll take Broline. We start with Broline. We get Broline almost at the end as well. That is not bad at all. We'll take that. Broline is solid. Brolin is a really, really good pool there. Um, good expensive one. So we love that. Let's go. Last 87 plus player pick of the video. Hopefully we can end it off with like a World Cup Yaya Torre or something like that. Fingers crossed. We're hoping to end it off with a big dub EA. Sort us out, please, in the last base or World Cup hero player pick. Not amazing, sadly. Not amazing. Um... Yeah, not great. If you guys have enjoyed the video, though, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.